What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about fuses and I'm going to give you guys some insight of uh, how to change a fuse, which fuse you need. I'm going to be talking about, I have a 2019 Ram uh, diesel and they're going to show you the different fuses that you need pretty much for your truck over here. If you're like me, I went out and ordered some fuses not knowing which ones I needed. I'm going to date myself back in the day. I mean, fuses started out with uh, cars used to have the little glass fuses. And then they upgraded from the glass fuses to the blade fuses like these. So me not knowing, you know, the new fuses that you use. I mean, how many times do you actually change a fuse on your car or anything else? It's It's been a while. So I bought uh, pretty much a case of these. They call the ATCs uh, fuses, the blade ones. And thinking that, you know... This is what cars use these days, or trucks, not knowing. Go there to go look inside uh, my fuse box over there, and they don't have those. They have the mini ones. Go out and you ordered some mini ones, and they have they have regular minis. But unfortunately, the Ram comes with these. You need the Micro 2, the Mini 2s. That's what you need. Uh, I bought this little thing. It has about 50 pieces, seven of each blade. Uh, and it was like 20 bucks, which is good. But that wasn't the issue. Uh, these, the mini ones for your trailer, when you have to uh, have any issues with uh, the blinkers or whatever, uh, you use the 20 amp one for like the left turn signal or like the left side brakes. And then you use one for the right side turn signal, the right side brakes. But I was having an issue that there was water inside the pocket of uh, the wiring and all that. So I blew my whole running trip running lights for my trailer that actually uses these fuses now these fuses uh it uses a 20 amp fuse uh you have these you have the, the deep ones the short ones all different ones these actually cost about like five dollars a piece uh i would warn you that when you are troubleshooting make sure you check the whole trailer out every possibility before you change a fuse and blow another one uh, when you go to AutoZone or say Advance Auto or Pep Boys or wherever to go buy these, they usually, if they have it in stock, if somebody else hasn't purchased it already, they usually have uh, maybe one in stock, maybe two if you're lucky. Uh, so if you are didn't troubleshoot it the right way and you go there and you go buy the only one there and you stick it in and you run your trailer again and it blows, then you're out of luck until you go to the next spot. So you definitely want to stock up on some of these. These are good for, like I said, the running lights for your trailer. I'm going to show you uh, in your in your truck, the fuse box, where they're located to help you out. Uh, it's like that in the future. You know, it's nice and quick and easy for you. Uh, definitely check out with your truck uh, which blades they come with before you order them. And just, just stock up on them because you never know when you have to go through them. And you'll easily go through like three or four of them trying to troubleshoot your trailer. So let me show you guys. So this is your fuse box over here. You open this up. And if you look right over here, this running right here that I changed, that's for my left side braking and turn signal for my trailer uh, obviously i mean on the over here it explains it and it shows you where it's at and then this one over here that i changed multiple times this is the 20 amp one used for uh when you have your running lights so i hope this helped you guys out uh if you guys enjoy give it some thumbs up and uh, i'll catch you guys later